why did there need to be more analysis out there on the cost for mining Bitcoin? I just felt there needed to be more standards for how we're evaluating, or at least how we talk about uh, the cost of production, just so that analysts, uh, whether it be you know private investors or, or Wall Street analysts, so we all have an apples to apples way of kind of talking about cost of production. And so we have an apples to apples way of like comparing these companies. And uh, it, there's a lot of different ways that I've seen companies kind of calculate it in terms of the things that they include into, into that number. And so I wanted to come up with three different ways of really evaluating that metric based on what you would find from a public company's uh, filings. And so the, the first way that, or the first tier of that calculation, I call the marginal uh, cost of production, which is based on cost of revenues divided by Bitcoin mined. So a company's cost of revenue would include things like the pool fee, the cost of electricity, of course, uh, there might be some other minor expenses that, that could be included in that. But that's sort of that first tranche there that really should provide more insight into uh, a company's cost of electricity or cost of power. Then the second tier is what I call total direct costs, which is in, it includes your cost of revenue plus your depreciation expense divided by you know Bitcoin mine. And the reason why we include depreciation expense is because it provides some insight into what these companies are actually paying for their machines, um, which is really important. And, and it is a part of that overall cost of production. I think the only one nuance there to kind of call out is that it's backwards looking. So it does not take into account, you know, future purchase orders uh, for machines. And then lastly is what I call total cost, which just incorporates SGNA or adds that into the equation. But that way you can kind of get a sense for uh, the company's overall cost structure as it relates to payroll and any other kind of administrative or overhead expenses. And then that gives you three different ways that you can kind of evaluate these companies and, and kind of cross compare.